Hey there, welcome back. I am Jenny Hendricks. Thanks for joining me again. I am so excited to bring you a very, very special treat today. Stay tuned. I'm going to introduce you to IG Winery. Hey, welcome back. I'm really, really excited that you are here today. Now, before we get to IG Winery, remember that if you love this content that we are bringing to you every Thursday, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and you will be the first to get this really, really cool info that comes out every single week. Now, let's get to it because this is really cool. I am gonna take you through one of the most unique businesses in Cedar City, and it's just, it's one of my favorite places for a lot of reasons, but let me introduce you to my friend, Jaden Reardon, who is the sales and marketing manager at IG Winery here in Cedar City, the first and only winery in Cedar City. And it's just such an incredible place to gather. It's a focal point for our downtown. So Jaden, kind of take us through maybe some of your history, some of your favorite points. I know you've been here for a number of years now, so what are your favorite things? Yeah, so we are, like Jenny said, we're the first and only winery here in Cedar City. We we're one of the first ones, in, or the first one in Southern Utah, uh, but we've been in business for about 10 years. Um, we focus on wine. Everything that we offer as far as wine is considered dry and fruit forward. We source our grapes from Washington, Oregon, California, and Utah. Believe it or not, you wait can a second. Grow grapes you here. source grapes from Utah? Yeah, absolutely. How does that work? Um, do you know what? We found the perfect vineyard um, that we work with just about 11 miles northeast of St. George, at the base of the Pine Valley Mountains. So we get some really beautiful wines. You can come in, try a Utah varietal. Not a lot of people have ever tried that. So it's something fun and unique that we offer here. I've tried it. <laughs> And it was good. It's really good. Isn't it? <laughs> People are shocked. They think. It really was shocking. I didn't expect to like it, but it was good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's great to come in because you get a really individualized experience. You can talk with your tasting steward. You can explain what you like, what you don't like in a wine, and they're able to tailor a flight specifically to you. Um, so that you can have a really positive experience with our wines. And that is something that I have really enjoyed. You know, we can bring friends in here, come in with some girlfriends or something, sit down and really have a conversation about what's available, what are your preferences. And you know, for a, a group of people, maybe some like whites, maybe some like reds, and, and everybody can really have a taste of what it is that they really like. Exactly. So really, really fun. Now, you are able to do events. We are. Okay, tell me about that a little bit. Absolutely, so we are starting to get back into the swing of things now that COVID's kind of simmering down a little bit. <laughs> um, but we do some really fun events. We just finished a Valentine's event. Mm -hmm. We did a beautiful brunch. Um, a couple other events that we do, we do big dinners, wine pairing dinners. If you're a wine pairing fan, they're great events, beautiful atmosphere, great food, beautiful wine. Um, one fun event that we'll have coming up later in the year is our Utah Wine Festival. One of my favorites. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, it's all weekend, really great dinners, things like that. And I have even brought people in here so you could reserve a room, you can bring in your own food, Correct. Have, the, have it paired with whatever wine that, that you would like. And so um, actually the room that we're in right now, you can reserve this room and you know have a corporate event or a friend event it it's really an absolutely beautiful setting tell us a little bit about the architecture and how this came to be in this place because it is quite unique for this area it is really unique so when we first opened up we opened up behind what was the iron gate bed and breakfast we were originally known as iron gate winery um, but when we moved here, that changed. It now stands for instant gratification. <laughs> I think the space is part of that. Right, it is so right. Beautiful. It is. It's a cool space. Um, but I remember when I was growing up, it was Jackson Dry Cleaners. Uh -huh. um, but before that, it was actually an automotive shop. Uh -huh. I don't know if you've ever seen the chandelier in our front space, but something that's really cool that kind of ties the space together is its old exhaust pipes that are stretched out. I didn't realize that. Creating the trunk. Yeah. So that really is fun. a beautiful, beautiful piece. And it is really a feature, it is a feature when you first walk in. I'm sure that's a real conversation piece Absolutely. for people that come in. And that's fantastic. It back to that original purpose of the building. That's great. Now, I know that you started as a winery. One of the things that I have been just so impressed with is 
you know, during the pandemic, there were so many things going on. So many businesses were struggling. I love the way that you guys were able to pivot. So you started out as just a winery, but you're not just a winery anymore. Correct. Yeah, we have a full <laughs> bar license. Um, so if you're not a wine fan, you can still come in with those wine lovers in your life and enjoy a cocktail. We have some of the most beautiful craft cocktails in Southern Utah. In addition, we feature beer from Silver Reef Brewery. And if you are a non-drinker, you can do mocktails. mocktails. So something for everyone. And it's, it's in the heart of Cedar City's downtown. Such a cool place. What else do we need to know about the winery? Anything else that, that, that you think is, is unique and helps you sort of appeal to the, the people who are not just live here, but who are coming into the area? Perfect. I think people always walk into our building, into our business, and they're like, well, I'm in Cedar City. It blows <laughs> their minds that you can have top-notch service. I'm in a really beautiful atmosphere here. Mm -hmm. um, I always tell people, follow us on social media. You can follow us on Instagram or Facebook if you want to be aware of like live music or events, um, different things that we have going on, new releases of different wines. This year's our 10-year anniversary, so okay. we're going to be releasing a lot of new Oh, varietals, great. Okay. That made us popular in the beginning. Oh, that's great. Okay, Jaden, we're in Utah. So, is it true that you can only buy bottles of wine at the state liquor store? So, something fun about our licensing that we have is we actually have a package agency license. So you're able to come into the winery and purchase bottles directly from us. You can purchase wine after seven o'clock. What? Which is important because <laughs> not everyone can make it to the store before seven. Right, right. Um, and also because of our licenses and how they commingle, we're actually able to be open on Sundays. Wow. And so you can purchase a bottle on Sunday. If you're making dinner, need to make the perfect wine pairing, stop by. Just and run in. I exactly. love that. Super that easy. is that is crazy. So what are your hours? When are you open? So we are open Tuesday through Saturday from 12 noon to 9 p.m. and then Sunday from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so you could if you're out in the downtown just sort of wandering around on the weekend, just stop in and have a drink and I love it. Enjoy your day. That's wonderful. Well, Jaden, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. It's thank you. just, it's always a treat to come in, and I love the architecture. I love the building. I love the location. And if we're being honest, I do love the wine. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the best part. <laughs> so thanks again. I really thank appreciate you. it. And thank you guys for tuning in to this super fun part of our business series about Cedar City businesses and events. I am Jenny Hendricks. Let me know if I can be a resource for you. We'll see you soon.